Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you a great easy shortcut uh, recipe for a baked pasta. This recipe, you don't have to boil the noodles and you don't um, brown the meat ahead of time. You just put everything in, dump it, bake it. It's pretty easy. Um, we've got a no boil macaroni and cheese recipe that's really popular, so I thought it would be fun to show you this no boil um, dinner recipe. You can use 16 ounces of your favorite pasta, whatever that is. I would do something with a little bit of texture to it so that it doesn't all lay flat on each other. Um, on the site, when I posted the recipe, I used shells. Today I'm using mini lasagna noodles. So this will give you the feeling of a lasagna without quite so much prep work. So we'll put about half the pasta on the bottom here. And then, like I said, you're going to take some Italian sausage. This is just bulk Italian sausage, not browned, just raw sausage. And you're going to plop little bits of it on the pasta here. You're going to take some ricotta cheese and do basically the same thing, just kind of dollop little bits around. I've got a 15 ounce container here, we'll use the whole thing um, when it's said and done, but just like the sausage, we're going to use about half of it here. Alright, then you just want to repeat your layers. liquid in. This is a jar of spaghetti sauce um, mixed with three cups of chicken broth and then I always like to put a little bit of extra um, garlic and oregano in there. So we'll just kind of pour this in. The noodles will cook right in the chicken broth and sauce and soak up all the goodness. tightly in foil and bake it for about 15 minutes at 425 then we'll take the top off add some cheese and let it finish baking all right so it's been in the oven for about 50 minutes as you can see the pasta's already soaked up a bunch of the liquid so now we're going to put the cheese on top All right, now this is gonna go back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. Um, and then you're gonna to wanna to let it rest for another 10 minutes. That's a great time to put your garlic bread in the oven and get your vegetable ready. Um, and then dinner will be done. Easy peasy. All right, it's had a nice good rest, which is the hardest part of this whole recipe is taking it out and waiting. So let's see what we got here.